back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Before you move forward, take time to celebrate who you are becoming and how you created that change. You have been shedding old habits and working on a new you. Stop and observe how amazing taking control of your happiness feels. You are doing a fantastic job. Let me say that again. You, 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 and surely you. You are doing a fantastic job. Keep going and don't give up. Don't you ever give up, okay? Why well, go on my people? Open body now, okay? Open body now, right? Yes, it is Saturday. Get up and find myself alive. Every day above ground is a blessing. How awesome it is to be amongst the living. And surely, 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 not amongst the dead. Me say, people, me say, them and them walk on a crab bush and them and them pick up some crab and just done yam something. I so tell you where the crab yam. No matter worry yourself, keep back and relax and wait for that. You understand? Because one family is happy right now. One family is happy. And I go and tell you no why. But because those will have some news, the man. Keep back and relax and hear what I go on. Right round the back road, my gun. I no, 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 no. And the crutches may buy our bill may appear. And news may I go no. Three men have been slapped with abduction charges after they allegedly attempt to book a room at the motel in the company of three underage girls on Sunday. And guess what, people? Remember to say back road me there? So I can continue. The men are all charged with abduction of a child under the age of 16. The men have been identified as Kenrick Mullins, a self-employed 19-year-old of Brayton Phase 1 address. Ricky Smallins, a 21-year-old self-employed male of Brayton Phase 1 address, and Andre Barrett, a 19-year-old unemployed male of 7 East Greater Portmore, Wollande. Get up, people. Big dotty get up, people. Send in them picture. When you hear the name, them send in them picture. The people them need to see them a boy a picture. Anyway, information reaching out news is where three men attempt to book at a popular motel Sunday afternoon with your little picnic. One 12 year old and two 13 year old. You understand? Look at the pity them left them yard. Figure meet up with man. Figure get tealy people. Yes. However, a concerned citizen made a report to the police and all six were held by the police. The three suspects are in custody in the Greater Portmore lockup. Then guess what? I'm going to try to look at Kelly spit to them. They're in a state care. I'm not exactly what I'm going to try to do now. When I'm going to try to blame the mother, I say, yo, the mother Kelly say, look at the like that. Oh, she ever happened to her and up and down. So, no, 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 no. The mother say, yo, she said, and right cross the road right now and then that's so if you collect something and come back and she just nah see her come back I feel so bad. I feel so bad. do you in any way feel responsible for this? of course yes I feel how we are about it yes up to up to now I'm gonna show you now up to now my generation will come back to you if it's Sunday I'm gonna show you my day and I'm gonna show you that 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 Mm. So that means I wish you could lay on say, I should cut, I should there or something. You see me, I say? Mm -hmm. So really and truly, my general is passed there, you know, because we go there, out of the way I come from, you know, you see it? Yeah. And really and truly, kind of miss her still, but my general, sometimes I feel best, you know, I can't feel worse, you know. You feel better that she's there, where she's at the home now? Yeah, because my general, like, three times she go away, and me, I tell her, my general, she could have come back, you know, and body bag, and you know, fuck me at all. Long gone are the days when they're like a 13 and 12 year old yeah, would have stand up at the gate and wait for cream if you come so them can get one little ice cream put that them out. Them no want that no more. I tell you, them want to stuck up in them mouth, Ghana. People, me are telling the truth, and that's going to that go on right there. So, a corporate area man has been detained for the past month after allegedly punching his teenage daughter in her face when she returned home late from an outing with her siblings. Yes, people, man, don't burn her face. It's reported that on June 9 at about 3 p.m., the 17 year old left home with her sister to purchase fish. The teen returned home at about 10 20 p.m. when her father, the defendant, became irate and said, You're not to leave the house again without my consent. Bet say me go jail for you. I bet say you lose some teeth. He then reported the 
punched his daughter in her mouth and nose, which started to bleed. Yes, people. When he appeared, the king suddenly said, the parish court on Thursday, the father indicated that he wanted to state his plea for the charges of child abuse and unlawful wounding. However, a plea was not taken by parish judge Leighton Morris as the father told the court that he does not have legal representation. I am very concerned about the offense that I am seeing, noted Judge Morris. The matter was adjourned until July 13 for the father to settle his legal representation. It is expected that bail application will be heard at that time. Hold on, I don't may ask you to something. What would you do? What would you do? Send a little picnic by fish from 3 o'clock and the picnic coming back 10 30. What would you do? Drop down the comment section and I could talk about it. Anyway, I can move on. I said, look at it in them bad, look at it in bad, look at it in bad, so till. And I'm not all young for get slapped, you know. We need to start slapping more of them. The detective assigned to the Manchester police has charged a 16 year old boy for wounding with intent in relation to an incident in which he, along with a group of friends, allegedly ambushed and stabbed another teen on Smoky Street in Ward Avenue in Mandeville on Saturday, March 25th. Report reaching our news team that about 8 p.m., the teen boy exited the restaurant when a group of boys armed with knife attacked and stabbed him. The police were summoned and the boy was rushed to the hospital where he was admitted in serious condition. He didn't die. He didn't die. Yes, people. For the investigation carried out by the police, the 16 year was arrested and charged on Thursday, July 6. His court date is being finalized. Arsenal, ah, production, Arsenal, ah, product, make him more money, put them go bury him. Anyway. I see one while he crowd up the road. And you know once I see crowd like that, see my lay down on the ground dead. Let me tell you now that go now. The police are searching for a man who allegedly shot and killed another man in Bogwa St. Catherine yesterday morning at about 7 a.m. The now deceased reported is sitting inside a park truck along the main road when he was approached by a man armed with an handgun. The gunman reported the fire one shot, just one shot to the upper body. The attacker then ran from the scene and escaped in a waiting Great Toyota Axi motor car. The paper that know the license plate number about them do and tell me. Me tell them the truth. Police responded. The man was taken to the hospital. Dead, dead, dead. No motive had been established for the killing. The Bagua police said they might investigate. As soon as they find out what is what and what, they might come back and let me know. So you no need for yourself. Guess what we are going to go on. Me I can tell you no. Can guess who dead? Chadwick dead. Me can't tell you about Chadwick though. A 19 year old Chadwick Wright was shot and killed. Another man shot and injured. I guess I wish for them with the people. Right out one dead yard. Man dead a dead yard. Yes, yes, yes. In the community of Chester Castle in and over. Report reaching on news team from the Rambler Police at about 11.30 p.m. Me tell you something on the door now. You see, 11.30 a dead yard. A nice, nice time, you know. Them time they done gone about two or three cup of soap already. And yeah, wait to get the local food. Because at them time the food are sharing. I'm here to the truth. And watch there. Man dead left the food. Right dead left the food. Cause the gunman never coming at the crowd. I want my whole heap of fire. Yes, people. And them killed him right on the spot. And guess what? The police were summoned up on arrival. Right along the man was found suffering from multiple gunshot wound. Them take them look at time. I rush go up at the car that reason ask the police them come and then you want a cup of soap to so get a cup of soap to drink. And them so watch ya. Like how this one I did and that the one they're gonna make it. Take a time go up there. Can't go put him pan ice tag into dashing pan ice. Next one admitted hospital in a stable condition. Him all right. Him all right. I never him them come for. So him not dead. Anyway, no people watch your guard, power guard. Right in a client that my guard now. One little place called Scott's Pass. Guess what I'm going power guard round there? You see the family are ruined, Barrett. They're in luck. They are in luck because. They man them find the body. So you know, so they can just teach them back to the head the have a funeral. But guess what is missing? Guess what is missing? And nobody asked me to shut the gun man them beat because I always tell them to say the clad that man them in a hostage business. Yes, people. They man them cut off him and teal and a bag of sitting. Let the picture can show the people them boo and see it. You understand? Yeah, man. They cut off him teal. And guess what? Look like a crab eat it. The same crab with the people them catch, drop it out the pot. And somebody eat it yesterday. Nobody cuss me. No, they tell you no. What the people them tell me because the local boy say, yo. We saw the crab round there so pick up something and I ate it. But I can't bet on any money. And we don't know. We're not see a lie, me I tell. But since I lie, me I tell. Who no go and go find black seed seed then, no man? Go and go find black seed seed. Yeah, my mama say black seed, them call him. He might bury without a seed. Who no go and go find it since who no think say. He's there right around there, so. Anyway, here we are. It's shocking, brother, because we go market this morning when we come back. 
Do you want to look over and say, boy, then see one body cross? Then smell something for me when you look over, then see one body. I don't know me nothing about what they go look. I don't know say, boy, I'm here, so I did it, and things like that. So I just saw it. Around what time that was? When you look over, that's around 11.30. Right here. Okay. And that's close to the train line? Yeah, man, close to, close, close to the train line. Yeah, me see him. But you know, come from down here, so you come from poor Syria. Oh. Okay. But you have seen him before? Yeah, man. I really have to know what will take place here. But this is unusual for these parts? Yeah, man, unusual, man. Plus, you know something that happened in the year, man. Anyway, no people that is that way that is concerned. Look, I tell you something. If them ever feel like say me, I take my foot off of them neck, they make a sad mistake. I go and sink your foot a little bit deeper. You understand? I remember, I remember going to the right foot me use. Then watch now, the people. I remember the other day, I run out to us, I gone back. I want a girl to come and say, yo, she and her brother under the lights, she don't write that there, so, and them if you do this, and them if you do that. I want boy come and shoot her brother. Oh, Jesus. Guess what? Kill him, dead him, things I need get away now. No, 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 Tell the girl, say, me find the boy if you are. Because she said, my view, the boy get you out of the community and I don't know which part him there. Tell her, say, me find him. Tell her, say, me find him. Him not got to tower ill eye. People, look on the stream. This is boy. This is the boy. Tower ill people, them take him in and I write down them and hide. You understand? So I'm going to send the girl and her family down there for all zone. Every single one out there. See the same look also in my eye, you I know I wish house to. I know I wish house. If you want to know, link me up and I give you the details. I mean, I go around there, cancel up everybody around that. So what I said, I mean, what I said, no, already. I don't take you back. People, listen to me, I listen to me good. It has to be done that way. You have to slap it who are all criminal. I don't tell no lie. Anyways, though, people, watch your one, man, boy, go on. By now, everybody's supposed to know that she get shot, but Stephanie not come, come telling yet. I mean, also, some people don't really believe until Stephanie tell them. But guess what? The paper, them on a grand spencer, my view, I could tell you something. Jashi will be a chunk, 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 chunk. Everybody else get shot, and he just run and get no shot. But let me tell you something you don't know. Only we'll if a mind games are played. Only if a mind games are played. Because there's a particular person in the car. Yes. Remember, remember, good, we know everybody. You understand? Hold on. Before we try it, they did so. Six person get shot, don't it? Always go and tell you the things you don't know. So, five live on one road right there, they did so. One live right over there, they did so. And you see, a particular youth in the car, him get shot. Him get shot. And I, him, I'm going to make a problem start. The youth will get shot. Yeah. The youth will get shot. Then under the damn youth, they get shot. When I go on like the public information, everybody needs to know. So watch your go on. The war is on. But which angle the war that come from? Even the people in our grand spend seems like say, them no know. You understand? Be your mind games are play. Keep back and relax. Josh the police them say was coming for questioning. Stefan is still a chat foolishness. But I just finish the news with them. A group of motorcyclists drove up and engaged his entourage by firing shots at them wantonly the vehicle that joshua was in a pickup was shot up he managed to elude them by running out from the vehicle and escaping i can't speak to this definitely as such but this is what information is coming to us as as we pursue the investigation we want to speak to joshua as to this incident and to see how best we can work through the situation to prevent further such activities of reprisals. Investigators from the St. Andrews Central Criminal Investigation Department are currently investigating a case where six persons were shot and injured earlier this morning. In discussion with the commanding officer, it was reported that sometime about 4.15 a.m., Joshi along with some other persons were traveling in a pickup when they were exiting the marketplace plaza on the Constant Spring Road, we understand a group of motorcyclists, approximately six, rode up and fired shots at the vehicle. At the end of the shooting, six persons were found with gunshot wounds and taken to hospital where they were treated. Based on the feedback, their injuries are not considered life-threatening. We understand that Joshi was not among the injured in the incident. 
So the investigators are now trying to ascertain what is the motive behind the shooting and who are the individuals who are connected to it. So far, they are processing the scene, getting as much information as possible to see how best whatever they have can assist them in furthering the investigation. So it continues. If there are persons with any information that can assist the investigators, we'll ask them to make contact with the CIB department at Halfway Tree Police Station. The number at the police station that they could call is 926-8184. That's 876-926-8184.